It's working, it seems to be working on all of my presentations. So hopefully this won't be an unmitigated disaster. And uh, we, we have maybe like, I don't know, a little over half an hour before I got to start setting up for our official Undead lab stream. Um, so let's Clark get started and see what we can see. For him. I oh. am eating pizza. Good night. Adjust brightness. Oh, I'm sure that's fine. Um, folks at home, I hope that brightness is fine for you. <laughs> yeah. It looks a little bit darker on my preview. I don't know what it's going to look like on your screen. Oh, I'm Tough sure look. everything will be... Look, it's look blindingly white. Blindingly. Pippin. It's a Mary. No. Is it? Is no, it? neither one. No. Iceman. Oh, it's not Dominic Monaghan? No, it's not. It is, it's Iceman, but not the guy from Killjoys, because they're twin brothers. Wait, I, Iceman is Val Kilmer. No, no, not that Iceman. Bobby, Bobby Drake. <laughs> Bobby Drake, oh. yeah. He's not my Iceman. And it's also Mayor, uh, Ma it's Mayor what's his name, and Littlefinger, too. Mayor Carchetti. Mayor Carchetti and Littlefinger. So, okay, so. Why are so good? It's so weird seeing him in Game of Thrones. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah I know. Playing a, like. I think you fuller version of Mayor Carchetti. <laughs> yeah. Mayor Carchetti! Mayor Carchetti was evil. Like, honestly. No, no, I, I, I actually, I came away feeling like. Mayor Garcetti's whole story is, is about how a person he's, he's a, he's a, with he, the he, right goals still winds up in a situation where they do shitty things. But it's still, it was, it it's, was even... Yeah, it was even... Yeah, it was like, yeah, responding to, to a system much more than uh, well, that's than the thing being is, He doesn't even feel like he's corrupt. He's put in these situations time. where it's not... It destroys what us all. selfish thing do you want to do? It's, this is what you need to know. Oh, man, I've got, a, uh, I've got an echo because growing this is unmuted here. Time. Oh, come on, where's the mute? There we go. We went after I was wondering what was going on there. Was, I kept hearing double, Thanks but it was the uh, the PC speakers were on. Oh, there's crackles. Yes, the crackles superpowers. That yeah. might be Enemy clipping, goes. and that might just be Andy and I eating food. <laughs> we failed. Uh, I'm not yeah. surprised that there are crackles. Uh, Time travel is because, yeah. yeah. One thing we could do is turn our mics off and on again. That sometimes helps. Going too fast for you? Uh, in fact, I think I might do that. A quick silence. Okay. What do you want to cover first? You tell me. Let's start at the beginning. Woo! Okay, I'm sure that worked fine. When you fine. first arrived at Riverport University. If we're still silent, say so. Well, actually, you can hear us I came back home to see my best so. friend, Paul Serene. I think if we're still silent, you don't know I said he that. He wanted to show me what he'd been working on. Oh, so. 15 minutes to pressure in time. He was also involved. I kind of feel so, like we should be appreciating this. Paul said it was world changing. <laughs> Whoops. Yeah. I might start That's this right. over from scratch when I do my, my real playthrough at home. Come on! Watch where you're going, man! Fuck off! Get out of the road! This is how Finns see Americans. Asshole. That's. We don't jaywalk. Well, what, kind, what coast are they on? <laughs> this is the East Coast, I think. Riverport. I don't know. Okay, it's yeah, East Coast to me. Look Here at all the brick are. buildings. East Coast. Uh, they can hear us, but the game audio is loud. Oh! I, oh, holy crap, it is! Hey. It's really loud. Right. How about now? No yeah, that should be much better. Welcome to our professional stream. Hi! You've been away for six years. We're better at making oh, video games than streaming them. Well, <laughs> so you say. How did it make We're allegedly better at making video games. My record checks out. <laughs> Certainly the comparison checks out. Yeah, I didn't say I'm amazing at making video games. I said I'm better at making than streaming. Good to set a low bar. Mm -hmm. Paul Serene, that's an assumed name. Why 4 a.m.? Why not wait till morning? Paul and I was been a showman. No. That's a name someone wrote. Oh, You're disrespecting that sign! You know what? I am, I am, I am disrespecting the Xbox One. So I got spoiled yesterday playing an Xbox uh, 360 game, Inver and uh, and it remembered uh, my inversion. Invert that shit! Oh, inverting is the worst. Shut up. Having to do it again and again when There's when it, the OS could easily keep track of it is the worst. What's this? This seems important. Narrative objects. 
Locate don't, narrative don't. objects in the world to immerse yourself deeper in Quantum Break's story. You know what really immerses me? Being told to do things by little uh, pop-up uh, Go, uh, text boxes. Did you immerse yourself? Uh, I feel I feel Conserve totally the library, not protect, not save. Conserve, Conserve it. Save it for later. Yep. Don't oh. read any books now. Strictly accurate. Not the word anyone in this country would have used. <laughs> Yeah, hey, I, I was I was talking yesterday to, to Andy about the fact that you know I can't imagine writing professionally in another language, like uh, in a language that no, wasn't my or first. Or just even for really another hard. culture. Well, yeah, I, I, it's I couldn't be write professionally for you know, it's British. Like that fraternity. You've done and, enough and we share mostly down. the same language. Hey, I come in peace. I'm just meeting a friend nearby. Uh. At 4 a.m. Yeah. Yeah. Tell me about. God, their mouths look so well, weird. <laughs> they do like so they've gotten happy, so much of it right. They've made such progress, and every time I look at one of their mouths, I'm just like, <laughs> I, I can't stand any 3D rendered characters. There's been never a game ever that I've liked looking at the characters in. We made it onto a lot of those top young professionals. The more realistic they try to get them, obviously, off in the worst of the university. Yeah, just keep running into them. Keep running into them. Yes. Realism. At home. Oh, that anti aliasing blur makes me really sad. <laughs> We're just going to be ripping on this game that looks I more beautiful than to. anything we've ever made. I didn't. I'm not. <laughs> it has nothing to do with the quality of the game. It's just <laughs> the state of modern technology. Well, reading between the lines, Paul under a lot of pressure. This does look really good. I just I just want to say, like, Kratos is. It's hard to make smiles look genuine, for instance. Yeah, they're talking about. His mouth looks so weird. Uh, yeah, I turn into a Velociraptor lots of times, though. So, names like Paul Serene go along with Max Payne and Alan Wake as being just really on the nose names. They also, when they hugged, like it just didn't really feel like two guys' bodies hitting each other. Yes, that's what. Uh, yeah. Come on. There's like your chest has give in a way that the video game chests don't. Yeah. This way. We're going upstairs Wait, to the I'm over here. Lab. How was the flight? First class. Thank you for that. It's a step up from our van trip to Utah. I missed that thing. I'm guessing. Okay, so one thing you have to do if you're going to be walking and talking to someone, you have to match their walking speed to the character's walking speed. Like, if they walk just a little bit slower than me, then I just have to walk like an idiot. Life is a fucking nightmare. Like, I get it. Your character runs around everywhere because that's how players want to play. And they animated him to walk around like brother. how a normal person walks. Yeah. He would He's look weird if they sped him up enough. But yeah, I'm, one, I'm wondering nice if they... I wonder the if little lean against the elevator. That is nice. They yeah. do a lot of really good acting stuff. It's going to change the with their... their uh, I don't know if it's all performance capture or if it's... Um, I do. I do think. Uh, uh, responding to the chat. What? Oh, sorry. Uh, I was gonna say, oh, Stone Crow. I think actually might be a band from Alan Wake. I'm not sure. That'd be cute. I mean, uh, my guess, and this uh, this is me talking without any actual factual support. So feel free to jump on it. Uh, my guess is the for a lot of people who've grown up playing games of this sort and no, go look out the window. Go back and look out the window. They you get just to like. And to accept That's really nice. this style. Just the look off to the right a little bit, just that distance. Yeah, no, it, it's pretty good. But, you know, my primary mode of entertainment is TV all and film, so it's <laughs> always <laughs> going to suffer because I haven't spent enough time getting used to uh, this kind of an art style, right? This kind of character animations. Yeah, you can see, yeah. It's like how, you know, when you sit down to watch even a really, really good Shakespeare play or something in dialect, it takes you a little while to get used to it, but once you're into it, it's fine. You, you, it's fine, you don't really notice it anymore. But it's yeah. always that. Well, I was talking to, our, uh, to Doug, our, our art director, uh, this morning about the fact that, like, <coughs> like when, I, you know, when we were playing Alan Wake yesterday, I was like, I remember, you know, Remedy. It's pretty cutting edge in terms of making their games look good and making their characters look good, but man, it was going back a generation, even after only a couple of years in this generation, oh, going oh, back shit. a generation was really hard. And it's like, it's like your brain sort of gets used to like, this is the level of detail that's appropriate, and then it fills in the rest with imagination, and you sort of develop this automatic mental crutch, but then when you advance a generation, and, uh, and then you take the crutch away, you go back to the old stuff, and you just can't deal with it anymore. 
I need someone I can trust. It's almost like, we you know, need you to I have me convince me. No idea what's no happening. The plot is. No idea. There's some kind of time machine, when your and it's about to mess up the world and give me superpowers, and I'm and walking it, slowly well, towards it. So I'm gonna be. You know, well, this is just like a me thing. It's not even a legitimate criticism because of how people actually interact with stuff. But quantum means very, 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 very small. It works. It sounds like it has something to do with time, but it doesn't. And maybe they're going to but, address but, that. Well, it, ha it has to do with things, things like uncertainty and it, stuff like that are also, all on that it's level. It's also about I'm, movement without covering the intervening space, right? Jack. No. These are qualities of the very, 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 very small. Yeah. Like, they are, they are taking... This is uh, metonymy, where they are taking a large thing and using it to describe specific aspects of the large thing. And uh, I just feel weird about it because quantum gets used to mean all these fancy things. It's a sci-fi word, though. Yeah. It's just, yeah, it has moved to generic sci-fi. A black, black box term for a, a class of stuff. Yeah, and I get... Thank you. What they're going for, like I said, it's not even a legitimate complaint, but every time I see it, I'm the weird outlier who goes, that's not what quantum means. <laughs> quantum break literally means very, 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 very small break. Break so small that it takes place at a sub-subatomic -sub level. Maybe that's exactly what's going to happen. Well, then it wouldn't really matter very much. <laughs> Minimum well, what, amount of any physical entity involved in an interaction. Yeah, like a, a, a photon. The, the amount of energy in a photon is the. Uh, if you want to read about a really sad racist thing, look up the phrase blood quantum relating to Native Americans and how ah. horribly they're treated. Uh, where quantum is the minimum amount of Native American blood you have to have to be counted as a member of a tribe. Oh. It's a huge fucking bummer. Okay, I didn't really do much there. Chronon. Okay. See, chrono, there's a time word. Yeah. I'm betting, you know what, I'm betting, I'm betting that... Also, I think quantum gets thought of as a time word a lot of the time because... Of quantum leap. Quantum leap and, uh... The TV show for the, those the, of you who yeah. are under 30. The Latin root. Quando. Quanto. Mm. All these time and words. What exactly are we testing here? You're about to find out. This way, we've got to raise the corridor. Just like old times, eh? Slightly illegal, moderately reckless. I'd raise some hell with Paul. Chrono. I'd raise some hell with Paul. Chrono Trigger, yep. Yeah. I could tell this was different. Still, I didn't understand how massive and far reaching the consequences for this would be. Oh, yeah. Chronotosis. <laughs> yeah. He played it cool, but I could tell he was nervous. It sounds like a time related sickness. It's gonna be amazing. Well, that's your thinking of chronic. An osis, tosis. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah tosis, tosis, yeah. Uh, Gotta push buttons at the same time or something? Yeah, yeah, do it. Turn the keys. I like the, the light the lensing the going on around the this is wormhole ish sort of thing they're creating. I feel a little rushed. Like, I don't know about you guys. We well, like just met up with this dude at 4 a.m. after flying in, and he's like, "Hey, help me turn on my time machine." We've known him for a long time. Yeah, I think we're old friends. We hugged. Remember? There was a picture. I know. I'm just saying. Like, we've been planning to do this for like weeks. We're finally doing it. That is an extremely elaborate machine. <laughs> I just every time I see stuff like that, like mechanical things fail, man. The more moving parts you have, the more risky the thing is. <laughs> I'm sorry, I didn't know this was gonna be like Ian just shits on the game. And it, this actually looks perfectly fine. Yeah, and I bet there's gonna be some uh, some really awesome, enjoyable game mechanics we're about Absolutely. to experience. Absolutely, yeah, that's a lot of pistons, though. You're right. It's just a lot of pistons. This is crazy. They're all timed perfectly. Come on. Yeah, and I, it's hard I, I, to keep eight pistons in an engine aligned. Yeah, that was like sixty pistons. And it's, you know, yeah, it's, and I don't know why this had to be down. Like, if there's a reason why this had to be down for a while. Right. But couldn't it just be up all the time? Yeah, I don't see why not. It wouldn't be as cool. It would not be as cool. No, it was super cool, where, like, and why did it, like, cascade the opening instead of just doing it all? I don't know. Button pressed. Plunger buttons are cooler than regular buttons. I get why a lot of this is happening. <laughs> for real. If anyone's wondering. What? 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 Oh, man. It's time, Paul. 
Now he has to go in uh, so that he can travel into is, his own past. Guys, he's going to ask him what number he's thinking of, and then he's going to say 69, and they'll be like, dude! And then they'll get in the phone booth. It's fine. That is a Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure joke for everyone who is too young to remember Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure. should be most of you. Uh, go see Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure. Ah! Ah! No, seriously, from watching 12 Monkeys, I'm like, that should explode. All the fucking... <laughs> seriously, the anti-aliasing blur. Oh. I, I get why it's there. I understand it's probably even just like an engine feature. But is that not making anyone else fucking crazy? No, Anytime no, no. they move their hands. When you, when, when, you pay, when you call my attention to it... Uh, yeah. Well, we put... <laughs> let's better make sure that our next game doesn't have a whole bunch of that in it before we complain about it too much. Uh, now what happens? So, the thing, so, so I do, I do really accept the idea, like the, the in the in the um, show uh, uh, Twelve Monkeys, the, the TV show, they have this thing where when 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 things touch each other, when the same thing touches at different times, it causes this massive feedback loop because it's constantly the the it just the, the, the future one. The, but but, but uh, the, the, the amorphous blob that he turns into is ridiculous. But I actually buy it, like the way they do it, because it's like you know, one of them is constantly making micro changes to the other one while they're in contact, and then feedbacking into itself. And so 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 watch him just grab his own shoulders and stuff was weirding me out. Um, okay, so I need to set the date on the console. Why don't I set it to a different date? Yeah, what? And break time. Uh. Oh, there's... He is in it! There is Dominic well, Moynihan. You have to help me with this. We have to shut this thing down now. No, 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 stop it! Shut up! Hold on, hold on. We can't shut it down. Paul's still in there. Shut up! Shut up! Look at me. Put the gun down and we can talk, okay? No, there's no time. You're not thinking straight. Put the gun down. Jesus Christ, Will. Time is going to end. Jack. You have to get actors that look a little bit more different, I think, oh, if you're going to be making 3D models of them. Dominic Moynihan has those ears. Yeah, that's true. He does have the ears. That helps. Did he do damage something with Oh, the... he got quantumed. Oh, he's getting the crap quantumed out of him. Oh, he's so quantum now. I, like I can't, I can't wait till I, till I can right. watch this and pay attention to all of the dialogue and understand what's going on. It's if your storytelling isn't working on a purely visual level, you blow it. So no, I don't, you're I don't doing them a favor. True. I don't think that's true. Worked for Mad Max. Uh, but, you know, if your game's about physics, it's going to be complicated. No, we pretty course, much got course, what happened here. Actually, yeah, so I think uh, that's true. And actually, yeah, Primer worked just about as well whether you understood the, the dialogue or not because it's just completely incomprehensible. Inaudible. It's, yeah, and it's also just completely incomprehensible no matter what you do. Okay. Whoa. Whoa, the world's all bubbly. We broke the world. I could hear Will's words in my head. Oh, help Will. Oh, hey, I got an achievement. And then so again, you kept playing the game for 10 minutes? I accept yes. that there's a break in time, but that break should be as tiny as possible. Oh, shush. Stop it. Seeing a quantum break. If it was a chrono break. It, you, sometimes you get arbitrary naming rights. Like Quantum of Solace, for instance. They no, arbitrarily they arbitrarily named that group Quantum just so that they could use the phrase Quantum of Solace. Well, that, that it's reverse, but still it's That you know. was them taking the name of a short story in which a quantum of solace was literally meant to be the smallest possible amount of solace. Oh, I know. I'm just saying that... In the short story that the name came from, it was actually used correctly, which is the opposite of helping your argument. You don't seem no, to be no. helping much here. Yeah, I'm, I'm trying to figure... Oh, am I going up here? I guess so. What the hell? I'm saying it was used right in the title and used this arbitrarily in world, like in, 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 the, in the story. Well. I think you're going to kill your brother when you touch him or something. Well. Oh, they're supposed to be brothers, at least. Are they? Oh, okay. So them looking super similar is okay. Hey, well. What have we done? She won't. She won't. She's right. I 
I knew she was right. Yeah, sudden, what have you done, idiot? I don't know what he actually did. I don't know. I'm sure it's he his fault. He showed up and interrupted things and he shot a bullet at something. Look at my face. I, I totally think it's his fault. Get Paul, get Paul out, out of the machine. machine, man. I can't get past glass doors. So how come I couldn't do this first? You weren't supposed to. Uh oh. Are they time oh. cops? I think this might. No, I think these are uh, college security. This is a badass. <laughs> yeah. This is probably an IV. Based, based on the scale of campus security. I don't know, campus cops have gotten a lot more high tech since we were in school. Seems excessive. So Ibuki makes the argument that, given the scale of the universe, this may be a quantum break in that it's very, very small <laughs> relative to the scale of the entire yeah, universe. Yeah, yeah, it seems like I mean, we don't. What, what, what is the scale of a time disturbance? Maybe it's much larger than uh, than most other, you know, physicsy things. It could be. What the hell? Hurry! This way. How does he know? Oh, that was oh. Weird. Oh, weird. And he went to, what, Oxford? Stanford. I uh, spent a couple of quarters at Oxford. Stanford and Oxford, so they, they had... All their dudes had No, guns. no, they really didn't. Now you, have, now you have very, very small powers. I've got time powers. You quantum see, 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 we have not heard the word quantum anywhere except the title. So... <laughs> it's not a problem yet. Of course, we haven't heard of that. Yeah, it wasn't in the game. Sure, like flipped and murdered that dude. Like, yeah, yeah. Jack. That I always wait, look, look. I'm you affected just, by it though, which is so just, rare. Like, I'm almost willing to take way. it just Move. because I look like I've got a look on my face after I killed someone that's for the first time. So many, the, like, do you ever see like, uh, do you ever see the Sixth Day with Arnold Schwarzenegger? No, that was the point where I'd given up on. He, so he was playing a normal dude. He's like a uh, well, not a normal dude, an enormous dude who's a um, like a, a normal ski. In, he's like a ski instructor or something like that. And then like he gets like some guy. The the very first death in the show like that's caused by him is just some some guy is is, is is bugging him and he breaks the person's neck. And I'm just like, if this is your first kill and you did it by breaking someone's neck with your hands, with your hands, that's fucking intense. And then he just moves on like he didn't do anything. So not that I would know, but it's super easy. So yeah, Taylor is calling out a grandfather paradox element of wait, how the fuck did he come back in time if he? Yeah, that's why time is broken. Hello. <laughs> it just did, how did it happen the first time? We it's broke all... time. Blah blah blah. Parallel. Whoa! Universes. It's the kid from Mass Effect. Oh. Man, he's really quick on the screwdriver. I want Paul about this. About the calculations. I tried to make him listen to me by shoving a gun in my face. Yes, a gun. Universal symbol for shut <laughs> Yeah, I like that. I love that we also laughed before it was over uh, on the stream. This doesn't make any sense. How? Why are you even here? Yes. Your biggest concern right now? God, this face is so creepy. Paul brought me here to clean up your mess. My mess? Do you even. Yeah, it's probably like a. A bad time for an argument, guys. Yeah, seriously. <laughs> Something turned into you. <laughs> That's totally what you would say in this situation. <laughs> I want to see through these holes. I don't even know what I'm waiting for. You have no context for any of this, Jack. We're here. A lot happens in six years. What's Iceman been doing for six years? I don't know. Man, I need to watch this. Secretly gay. I should. I should watch this. What? Iceman's gay. Oh, the character. Yeah. Listen. 
What was up with him, involved with him, him and Rogue then? That was in the movie. Sorry. Uh, oh, Plus the, in the comics, in the it comics. turns out he didn't know it until a past version. No, let's see. Past version of himself came forward in the future and Jean Grey read his mind? Yeah. Or did she read the future? She read the past version of his mind. Right. It was basically the, the how, explanation. How do we retcon this in? The basically. explanation in the comic is that with all of the hate and bigotry against him for being a mutant, he just was in denial about his sexuality the entire time. Ah, uh, interesting. Like, he couldn't not be a guy who turned into ice, but he could just not admit that he was attracted to guys. Interesting. Oh. Is game like, stuff happening yet? I think game stuff. I might actually be gaming. Shooting, yep. Oh, oh. That's, oh, that's how you play games, by shooting people in the head. That is the interaction available to you. So oh, it looks like context, context cover. Have we established why these guys are worth being shot, other than the fact that they have guns and seem to have shot at you? Yeah, it, I, mean, I think it's pretty much that's the one. Ah. Uh, oh, what? It was red and didn't explode? What is wrong with this game? But yeah, these guys seem like they have uniforms on, and if I'm a normal person, I'm gonna go like, oh, oh, d d officer, um, yeah, no, you can totally arrest me, please. Or run. Yeah, exactly. The response of become There's action things hero to pick up. is... There's things to pick up? Where? Go back, there was a I gun on the gun. ground. Oh, there's an SMG on the ground. This has bullets. Where? You just ran over the top of it. Where? Oh, there? There's one. Oh. Just to swap weapons. Oh, I have... Do I have to... So you okay. have three slots for weapons. I think I can't pick that up. There's a third weapon behind you. I think... Oh, I think I just did. I think I just got... I think I just picked up the ammo automatically. I don't know. Not good. What time are you aiming to wrap up? Um, probably like five, ten minutes before. Not again. We gotta get ready for... Yep. First strike. That guy was really nice of him to wait so long before taking a shot. So you now murdered seven people? Eight. Eight people? All of them oh, in uniform. Eight. eight. Yeah, all of them in uniform. And with like some really beautiful like, look at the guts. <laughs> Look at them guts. You move pretty quickly to, wow, killing that person really troubled me. Hey, get a hustle on, Will. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> they say the first one's Hob the Hobbits like to take their time. We can't go to your car. Oh, I hope that leg gets stuck in the elevator door. I hope it does. I hope it does. Oh, man. Oh, so close. We need to get to my car. Okay, just just walk me through this, Will. Okay, time's broken. Fine. Now you're saying we can fix it? In theory. I built something for such an event years ago. Finding the counter mission won't be easy. The counter mission? Well, look how huge this elevator is. And that is spacious. Oh. It's at a research facility. It might be that big. Maybe well, no, they'd have any a... any machinery or something? They'd they have a... Like a special elevator for elevator, that. Yeah. Maybe that's this one. It wouldn't be shiny and nice then, because they'd be wheeling shit into it all the time and tear up the carpet, bang up the walls. <laughs> they have really good maintenance. They did this. Yeah. Okay. And Luki's like, if someone shoots at me, you bet I'll shoot back at him. Uh, it's 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 there's, tough. I don't know. Like, there's a discussion also about whether or not they put the red non explody thing up front to be like, oh. <laughs> red things don't explode in this game. Oh, that oh, that's actually that makes sense. Oh, is uh -oh. your brother gonna die? Okay, well, let's Stop push time. X. Why? 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 Somehow I can focus and unfreeze Will. Even if the world was still frozen. Sutter. Will pretty I'm calm right. about this. <laughs> so you can interact with those guys if you want. Like, take their gun. <laughs> okay, so wait, I've got, can I switch? Oh, I can't do anything. So is this game basically somebody said, wow, that scene in that X-Men movie where Quicksilver 
ran faster than everybody else was really awesome. Wait, so there were narrative objects, Jeffrey. There were narrative, there were narrative objects. objects? Where? I think there was. Go back on the other side of the table on reception. There's that one there. And then I think there was another one. Oh, well, I think you're a liar. No. Probably. I bet there's stuff over there if you just keep See going. you later, brother. But that's not the way you're supposed to go. Take all their bullets. Oh, you're actually full on taking their rifles. Yeah. See, basically, the same rules that apply to guns on the ground also apply to guns in the hands. I'm just, like, auto-taking all of their guns as I walk past them. It's pretty cool. Hey, help that kid on the flop floor. Whoa, okay. There. No guns for anyone. Oh, wait. I met this girl. What do you mean later? Come to get her moving. Why? Can She's not in freezing. It worked on you. Why isn't it working on you? Seems like I could have passed that up, too. That's interesting. You may have to do with it's interesting I had well, the opportunity the to learn that. The accident. It's a goddamn invasion. What are they doing? Why? Everybody. Everybody. Every witness to what they've done. But what they did? Wait, wait, wait. We did something. Wasn't it you guys that did it? I don't know. Again, we missed we missed plot points. So we there could be a really clear reason why these guys are there and why they're bad guys. Because we were we were making fun of their being the campus security. They're clearly somebody else. Yes. We just don't know what who they are, what they've done. I do like there's like a, a effect on the audio. Oh yeah, it's yeah. It's like it's not well, quite. Time's not working. Like sound isn't moving quite right. <laughs> yeah. Oh, back to normal. Go look out the window. See what happened. I think this is a different area, maybe. No, no. My car. The patrol in the parking lot. Oh God, that's. He's really distraught about his car. How are you gonna get out? I'll take care of this. I'll, I'll fight my way through. I'll get the car and I'll bring it around. Are you sure you can handle this? No. Are Bye. you sure you can fix time? Then we'll call it. Then we'll call it even. Can't go out that door. What? Not supposed to. There's no button on it. Uh, what? Where, where do I go then? Probably you follow your NPC. You'll need the keys. Oh, there he is. Hi. Now he's there. He's got the keys. Hey, Jack. To the car, I guess. Be careful. Yeah. Okay. Why I, is I'm your wrong. brother English? Maybe I'm I mean, English. that happens. Yeah, I know. That, that totally happens. He probably just spent a lot of time over there when he was a kid. The accent rubbed off on him. Yeah, or or I spent a lot of time here, and yeah. Why to activate time vision to locate enemies, hazards, and items? Time vision deactivates and you move. What? <laughs> Why do I have this power that has nothing to do with time travel? It's, it has the word the time in it, therefore it's related. It goes from the past. Has got orders from Monarch Max. They want us to find a car belonging to William. Get that bag. Got a plate number? It's coming. Okay, so there's the enemies. Where am I trying to get? I don't know where my objective is. So they're avoiding the uh, Batman problem by basically turning off the vision anytime I move. I can only use it uh, when, yeah. I'm not moving. I bet you want that backpack that's going blue. Maybe I do. So far, it's they've all the backpacks just have bullets in them, like most college students. <laughs> yeah. Again, yeah. These, these well, again, this is their version. You're, of the say, you're saying so. ba backpacks have bullets in them, like most college students have bullets in them? Oh no, no, I meant for backpacks. Sure. Always too current. Oh crap. I'm not really clear why you weren't shooting people. Yeah. He's trying to limit his mass murder. Yeah, I was I was trying to get away without just, doing this, but you're a lot better at shooting people than they are, which is weird because they're professionals. <laughs> yeah. Well, you know, well, I must have spent that five years doing something. Probably was training. So. They think that the, the SWAT guys might be the people who were getting protested against at the beginning. Oh, okay. There was a protest going on at the beginning? Seriously? 
I was the woman walking past your you guys. car with the sign. Oh, that's right. That's that's how you know. It's so, his okay, car. so it looks like basically. Past. Oh wait, so it looks like I uh, wasn't even going to be given access uh -oh. to the car. Oh no. Oh, shit. Okay, RV to cast time stop. Something clicked. Something cast. Clicked. I like the word cast here. Yep. Reach out. Hey, as soon as we finish this bit, we're gonna switch over to State of Decay. Quantum break. Cast time stop again. Now shoot him. How do you like it? Uh, so far, control. We, we've been ripping on it, like just mean people this whole time, but it's actually. Uh, it seems pretty good. Yeah. There's a bunch of silly stuff that it does. Yeah, but but it's like it's the silly stuff that it does is is par for the course game industry stuff. Yeah, yeah. Like like the fact that my character is so cool with murdering people who look like cops right out of the gate. You know, that's kind of weird. But there's a lot of games that do it. So it's, so this game just is not you know. Why don't you time stop it? I could. I think that I've got oh, a range nice. on that. Don't have much of a range on this though. Which is to say, you have oh. a really good range on this. Yeah, I mean, I don't have like a limited range. Okay, so what is up with that? So did you note that when it, it said that when you do time stops, your bullets do extra damage? Well, no, you can stack them up, a bunch of them up because your bullets don't get to him while the time stop's there. So he's not being shot yet until you stop the time stop. Oh, you count. Oh, who's this guy? Wow, they just come out of nowhere, don't they? I really like shooting pillars and things that you stand behind. Also, now you know that this section of combat is over because they showed you a cool... Yeah. It's basically you know, it's the end of a Max Payne fight, right? Yeah. Super slow. Uh-oh. What? Oh, wait. She doesn't She's not wearing on. a helmet. Yep, so she could be good. And she has an, an earring in an unorthodox location, so she's... She must be cool. Yep. Taking him to the library. Anti-establishment. Can't you see the earring? Dude. It's more complicated than... Look, I don't know if you can make it, but you should hurry. That's the first time you saw Beth Wilder. Her name's Wilder. Definitely not the first time. So we got Serene versus Wilder. That's not the first time she saw him. <laughs> okay, we should probably. Yeah, we should quit. He doesn't know that that pistol that he chose was recalled by the company for failures. Was it? Yeah. <laughs> well, I'm yeah. not gonna name it in public. But there you go, everybody. <laughs> if if you ever want someone to look at your video game <laughs> or other media projects and tell you. Why the guns you picked because they looked cool were actually a bad decision. That's right. Grant, yeah. Brant will be happy to jump in. I will. He'll do that shit for free. I will.